Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I are on a journey to become debt-free using a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing method because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. All right, you guys, welcome back. I'm super excited to hang out with you today. I'm gonna start off this video by opening some happy mail that I got in the mail from one of our favorite channels. I've been eyeing some things in her shop for a long time and I finally purchased them and I'm super excited. So I wanted to do an unboxing, but it's in a poly bag. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? So anyway, you guys all love her so much and she is always supporting other people's channels and doing unboxings and is just so full of joy and life. And so I wanted to do the same for her and support her shop because she works so hard and she makes the most beautiful things. And I'm just super excited to be able to add some of her art into my office. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. This is from Make It Bling by Erica. You probably know her as Black and Blue. And I'm not gonna, I think her address is on the other side of this. So watch out, Erica, I might come visit you. <laughs> uh, we talk all the time and I was like, I wish we lived closer because it would be so fun to hang out because we're, I don't know, we just have so much fun chatting with each other. But these are some things from her site. I will link everything in the description. And um, her packaging is so cute. Like, look at this sticker. Happy bling mail. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to pull out of here. Okay, so I've been wanting this for forever. And all of you cash stuffing sisters out there will hear this. So this is the fingertip moistener and she like blings the top of it. I see her using this all the time and I'm like, that would be so nice to use when you're like counting cash and she counts a ton of cash. So um, it's, oh, that's nice. That is super nice. And when I'm making cash envelopes too, sometimes the vellum is really hard to like handle if my hands are super dry. So that's the other reason I got this. So I am super excited. Thank you so much, Erica. And this is honestly, girl, like videos, your website does not do this justice. I don't even know if my video will, but this is so pretty. And like the iridescent is my favorite type of bling. So I'm really excited about this. And then the other thing I got, <gasps> You did not. You guys, you sent me two. Oh, and look at her sticker, black and blue. As you guys know, she is a police officer. I think that's right, Erica. I don't know exactly, but she's she's like a police officer. And so give her lots of love and thank her for everything she does. Oh my, God. did you know green was my favorite color? You had to have known that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get this up close enough for you guys to see. Hopefully that's focused. My camera's up so high, it's, I can't really see into it. Oh, it's so pretty. So this is a Sharpie marker. Oh, I didn't know they were fine tip. That makes me so happy. Oh my gosh, because I write with Sharpies all the time. I'm a Sharpie queen. Like I love all the Sharpies. Oh, I love fine tip Sharpies. I'm so, oh my gosh. I was excited to begin with, but the fact that it's fine tip makes me even more excited. Oh. Okay, so this is the black and iridescent. It's so pretty. And look at it, it matches. It all matches. <laughs> that makes me so happy. And then this is the green one. Oh my goodness. The quality of these rhinestones. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Erica. You. You sent me two. That was so nice of you. Oh, I'm so excited to use these. I'll probably be incorporating these into my reels. Like when I'm like writing on stuff, you guys will see me like using these pens. Oh, so pretty. I've seen other people do these because she puts, she's on Instagram too. So go follow her on Instagram. I'll link all her socials so you guys can go find her. Although I'm sure most of you already know who she is because, you know, she's kind of a big deal and she's like the nicest human in, on this planet. Um, but I'll still link all of her socials just in case there's like, you know, one or two people out there who need them. But um, yes, so her website, I think, is Make It Bling by Erica or something. But if you Google it, you'll find it because that's how I found it. So anyway, super beautiful. Thank you so much, Erica. I am obsessed with these. Wait, there's something else. There's something else in here. 
No, is this like tape? Oh, it's so pretty. I don't want to open it, like unpeel it. Well, maybe I will so you guys can see it. I'll hold this up close too because there's like gold foil on this. I don't know if I can get it with my nails. This is usually when I'm like, hey, Chris, can you come get this for me? There we go. It is. Oh, and it's so pretty. Look at that. I really hope my camera is focusing on these and doing it justice because this is so pretty. Oh, Erica, you spoil me. I don't deserve you. Thank you so much. This is like the most exciting Happy Mail I've gotten probably ever. <laughs> So Make It Bling by Erica. Go check her out, you guys. She has the most beautiful things ever. So we're going to get dive right into today's cash stuffing. My husband took the kids out. I'm actually filming this on Saturday, so I'm going to be busy editing today. Um, the kids are home for summer break, and it's just been wild. So he took the kids out so that I could film in peace and quiet. I was going to try to film in my office, but I need to get a new like stand for my camera because you guys are actually sitting up on our floating shelves in our kitchen right now. And um, I couldn't like get a good setup in my office. And so I'll figure that out for the, because it's going to be all summer. So I'll have to figure that out. But today we're going to be cash stuffing a total of $1,185. And I did do a video on my process for how I prep for my cash stuffing. And I posted that. I'm going to post that today. I just filmed it, but I'm going to try to get it up on Saturday so that you can watch that. And then my cash stuffing today, just so that it all kind of like flows together. But I've been getting a lot of requests for, you know, just how I do my process. So $1,185 is what we are cash stuffing. And during the video that I'm just filmed, I was off by $200 and I couldn't figure out why, because on my cash planning sheet, my totals were 475 and 510, which only equals 985. So I couldn't figure out why I was $200 off. And then I remembered the $200 that I'm stuffing for my 100 envelope challenge, I added after. So that's where the extra $200 came from. So I figured out why I was off, just in case anyone watched that video and was confused like I was. So I have a new wallet that I'm really excited about. And I do have a lot of shop updates that I'm gonna share during this video. But I am starting kind of like a couple different collections of binders that are similar to each other so that you can have kind of matching things. And so you guys have seen my savings challenge binder, which I'm super obsessed with. And this is going to be from the Lux Haven collection. And then it's also going to have a matching wallet. And this is the wallet I've been using. I, this is my sample. Um, and I am beyond obsessed with it. It kind of gives that luxury feel, but you're not going to feel like the price tag is gonna make you so happy. <laughs> so you get to feel like you have luxury, um, but you don't actually have to pay luxury prices. So Lux Haven is what these are called. And I'm gonna start by just unstuffing my wallet. If you're somebody who likes to have your cash envelopes in a ring, this wallet might not be for you. Um, I thought that was me, and now I'm questioning everything about my life because these um, cash envelopes in here have been really easy to manage. So I do have some receipts that I'm going to scan into my Fetch Rewards app. We did go to the Dairy Queen. Eli doesn't eat ice cream, so I kept his free ice cream cone for later. Maybe I'll take one of the kids on a date or something. But um, Fetch Rewards, if you've never heard of it, basically you scan in your receipts into the app. Your receipts turn into points. Your points turn into gift cards, etc. And then you can... You redeem those points for gift cards. So I actually just redeemed my points for a $50 Amazon gift card and a $10 Starbucks gift card, which I'm really excited about. So you can also scan in your digital receipts. So like all the grocery shopping that I do, I can still scan in those receipts because I grocery shop online. So these are my cash envelopes. So these are the envelopes that are just, there are no like rings. They're just cash envelopes. So um, I kept kind of the same categories, but we're just gonna go through and unstuff my wallet. And I decided that I'm just gonna um, unstuff the grocery money and put that into our savings challenges because why not? Treat yourself. Okay, so I stole this from somebody I made customs for. Treat yourself, I loved it. So this is actually one I messed up on. So I kept it for myself. This is my new spending envelope. Left in spending, I have $9. I started with 20 this week. Eating out 
has four dollars left i'm just gonna stuff this into my savings challenges too since it's only four bucks drinks is empty kids has three dollars and since it's summer i'm actually just gonna roll this over normally i would stuff it since it's only a few bucks but i i'm not going to this time just because they're home um nails had nothing i did get them filled so i actually broke a nail pretty bad um shortly after I filmed the video where I was asking for suggestions. And so I had to go in before the video was posted. So I did see all your suggestions and there was a lot for like a matte green color. So I will do that next time I do my nails just for you guys. I don't know that I'll love it, but I will do it for you. And who knows, maybe I will love it. But I did have to get them filled and fixed before I was able to read all of your suggestions. So just so you know, I do ask for suggestions and I do like care about the suggestions. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's go ahead and restuff these. I'm going to use my cash planning pages um, that I just went through in the last video that I posted. And then also in my A5 binder is actually where my weekly wallet tracker are, trackers are. So this kind of shows what I put in for last week. And then I did go ahead and rewrite my new categories in here. So I am just going to set this aside. The amounts that I stuff are so similar. I'm also gonna fill that, fill that out in the, like off camera. So, but for miscellaneous, we're gonna roll this one over because it's, I always roll over miscellaneous if it's full. Kindness, I, I'm kind of messed up and I did a, um, I didn't break up my miscellaneous cash that I'm stuffing. So I'm just gonna leave kindness for now. And if I feel like using the $5 in here for like an even more generous tip or whatever I use it for. I'll just do that. Nails, I don't need anything this week for that. Kids, let's see, for kids. Let's just see what we have in that envelope or in that binder. Oh, envelope was right. Um, okay, so let's do, let's do a 10 this week for kids because I think I did a $20 bill and I don't really need to carry that much in my wallet for my kids. If we're going somewhere, it's usually pre-planned and I'll grab it out of this binder and then put it in my wallet. So for kids, 10, 11, 12, and 13 is what we're gonna have. Drinks is gonna get its usual 20 this week. And actually, I don't know if I can do that because I think I budgeted a 50 for drinks, which was, I just wasn't thinking when I was doing my cash planning pages. See, I did, I did a $50 bill. <sighs> Maybe we'll see what we have in here. Cause if we have a 20, oh, we do. I just don't need to carry a $50 bill for drinks in my wallet. This is just if I want to like run out and get more adult beverages. <laughs> that way I have some cash on me. So we'll do that, that's perfect. Eating out, um, I kind of made the same mistake. <laughs> I did a 50 for eating out. I should have just kept this binder out. These, this is our low priority. Um, eating out, I'll just do a 20. Since it's summertime, I don't really run out and grab as much randomly for lunch like I used to because the kids are home and then I'd have to get food for them too. And that just gets really expensive, so. Okay, so then for my, oh my God, I'm going into this binder again, you guys. I'm so sorry, this is all over the place. Uh, I'm like sweating. I feel like rushed because I don't know when Chris is coming back and he has all the kids with him and it, the second they come in the house, it's gonna get so loud. Um, so I feel like rushed, but not really. I mean, it is what it is. If they come home and you guys get to hear them, it's not the end of the world. Okay, and then for groceries, I'm going to stuff my usual $25 into groceries for like random odds and ends that I might need, might need to go out and grab. And since this is a different wallet, I totally forgot to take my change out, so I'll do that too. So the reason, so I never thought I would like envelopes like this, but I'm like, I'm just gonna try it and see. I mean, I'll try anything once. That's kind of like my my saying in life, but look at that. And then it was so nice because like we went to the zoo yesterday. So for like eating out, I just grabbed this out and was able to just pay like that and then just stuck it back in there. So I like to have them in order, but 
yeah, it's just really sleek looking, but let's take the change out of this wallet. It does have a pretty decent sized coin pouch and I will show you how they will come because when I say I want you to feel like you have luxury without the price, I like really mean it. That's why I loved these wallets so much because they are such good quality. They are beautiful. Um, and before I show you how this will come, <laughs> my husband finally got his truck back after his accident and I found this in his truck. This is where he's been keeping all of the change. And so I'm like, oh, can I put this in our change jar? And he was like, Ugh, sure. So doing that and then he can just fill this back up as time goes on so like oh you keep your change in a nice little container in your truck but when you drive my car it's just everywhere <laughs> okay all right so these this is kind of what it's gonna look like um these bags this is just a sample again I literally order samples of everything before I make a big purchase because I want to make sure the quality is good, but these will also have the um, aesthetic dollar logo on them, which is cool. But um, I'll show you, like give you a tour of the wallet. So this was the section I was just in. This is where I'm choosing to keep my um, envelopes and receipts and stuff. And then in here, it's kind of the same thing, but this is like a ton of space for cards. So I have all my cards. There's a lot of different like pockets and stuff in here, which is really cool. So um, this is how they will come. You can take this little like wristlet thing off if you don't like a wristlet. I personally like a wristlet, but you can, you do have the option to take that off. So I have, these have already arrived. So these came super fast from my manufacturer. And so I decided I'm going to do a soft launch. And I don't even know if it could be called a soft launch. This is going to go into savings challenges in a little bit. Um, but write this date down because I have not announced this anywhere else. You guys are the first to hear. June 23rd is a Friday. I feel like Fridays are good days for people. June 23rd at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'm gonna do a launch of the Lux Haven collection, which is going to be these two items. They'll be sold separately, and then I'll probably also have a bundle of them. You'll save a little bit by getting both. So the Lux Haven collection will be available on June 23rd, as well as the cash planning um, notebooks or notepads or whatever. So these will be available um, during the launch. And then the A6 Chic Wallets, that um, always sell out those will be available for pre-sale so you guys said you'd be cool with having them as pre-sale so i will do pre-sale on those i do have limited amounts although it's four times more than i've ever offered so um and they're also going to be customized with my logo so those will also be available for pre-sale on june 23rd so a lot of fun things coming to the shop that i'm excited about these will be coming in july but i want to make sure that the quality is good when i get the custom order in before I actually like launch them. In the future, we can do pre-sale, but I'm hoping we'll never have to. I'm hoping I can like stay more on top of um, inventory now that I'm working with a new manufacturer. So that's your shop update. Groceries we already stuffed in my wallet. Clothing this week is going to be getting 50. So now it has 100, 200, 250, 300, 320, one, two, and three. So 323 in clothing, which is so nice. I have to pull some of that out though because I did get the girls some clothes and I haven't done my unstuffing yet. Household is getting 35. So tell me in the comments, what are you guys the most excited about for the, the launch? And I guess it's kind of a launch and a restock since the A6 Chic wallets are a restock. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 125 in households. Personal hygiene, it's getting 25. So now it has 50, 70, 90, 110, 115 in personal hygiene. Baby needs, it's gonna be getting $10. So now baby needs has 50, 70, 90, 100. I did just do a diaper haul, diapers and wipes, Target had their sale again. <laughs> So most of that'll be coming out. Copays is going to be getting $10. 50, 70, 90, 100, 
50, 70, 80. Um, another aspect of my shop update would be where I'm at with orders. So medical is going to be getting $20. So I'm officially under 100 orders. That's not just from the launch. It's also things that have come in since the launch, 100, 120, 140, 145 in medical. Um, things that have come in since the launch as well, but a lot of like, if you place an order after the launch and it's like a pre-made item, I do take time every couple of days to ship, try to get those shipped out. Vehicle maintenance is getting a 50, so now it has 110. Um, but really all I have left is a handful of non-custom orders that have been placed in the last week. And then um, my husband needs to bring this back because he took this out because we took our dogs in to get their vaccines, like rabies and stuff. So, and it was only $80 for both dogs. So he needs to put the rest of that back in here. He just probably hasn't yet. Um, and it's $80 because my sister works at a vet clinic and we don't do like, like our dogs are young and healthy. So we don't typically do like a full on exam. We just bring them in, they give them their shots and we leave. It is a two hour drive though. So that's the kicker. Sam's Club is getting 20, but it doesn't matter because it saves us money and um, it's my hometown. So even though my husband was the one that drove down there, it's not a super painful drive. I'm honestly jealous he got to sit in silence while he drove there, 20, 30, 35. Because while he was doing that, I took the kids to the zoo and um, <laughs> the zoo was really good. It just, the car ride there was, oh, so extra. Just like the arguing, but like the actual zoo part was really fun. The kids did great. Eating out for some reason is getting a 50. So now we have got 70 in our eating out envelope. And then the 20 that I have in my wallet. Drinks is also getting a 50. I usually try to break this up, but I just, I just did a cash condensing. So I think I was maybe still in cash condensing mode. My spending and Chris's spending is not getting stuff. Home reno is getting a 100. Chris is actually, so he took the kids so that I could film and they went to go, we got new doors for our upper level because the doors we have are like original to the house. And our house was like a nineties poster child when we moved in. So everything was like gold milk, gold fixtures, super outdated. And so we've kind of redone a lot of things, but the doors are still original and just awful. Um, and the bathroom door is actually broken. So you can't lock it and you just can push it open. And the baby has been going in the bathroom and taking everyone's toothbrushes out of the drawer and like, swirling them around in the toilet. So I was like, Chris, we need to get new doors and just like be done with it so that we can like lock her out of the bathroom. Kids is getting a 20, um, 20, 40, 50, 55. And so the other issue is that Eli, our six-year-old who is autistic, family fun, I think is getting 20. Yes, um, he's autistic and so he's learning to wipe himself um, and he doesn't understand the concept that Antonio is getting 10 so now he has 20. Um, he doesn't understand the concept that when you wipe you don't need to use an entire roll of toilet paper so he's been clogging our toilet because he thinks he needs to use like an, an entire roll of toilet paper when he wipes himself. <laughs> so he's another one we need to lock out of the bathroom and then he just needs to come tell us when he needs to go so that we can kind of supervise him and just help him learn how to properly not clog the toilet and how to like wipe himself. Hockey is getting 40. So yeah, 100, 120, 140, 160. Lots of interesting things going on in our household in that aspect, but I'm excited for the doors. How do I get on that topic? Home renovation probably. Um, hockey rink is getting 25. I need to ask Chris exactly how much we need to have saved up for this because I have no idea. I just feel like a hundred bucks up until, you know, October should cover it, but I don't know. Nails, it's getting 20. Gifts is getting 25. So anyway, back to my shop update. I, let me count this. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 45, 145 in gifts. Um, I want to just say thank you to everyone who's been so incredibly patient. You guys, I, um, in total with just custom envelopes, it, I had, I allowed for 1200 
total. So some people got like 40, some people got five, like, but total 1200 custom envelopes. Um, and that's not including my bundles. So like the savings challenge bundles, holiday sinking funds, a six starter, a seven starter bundle, all of those other bundles that are pre-made, um, I did sell out. And so now they're pre-order, which I have a ton of orders for pre-order. So I have to make those too, but that's a lot of envelopes. And I'm so grateful. Like I can't even tell you guys how grateful I am. I love making them. And customs are my favorite because I feel like I get to know you guys. They are just very time consuming. And so I just wanted to like take a minute to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all of your patience and your kindness. I have not gotten one mean message from anyone, um, which I was fully expecting because now we're coming up on the three or four week mark. And I would, you guys are way more patient than I would be. <laughs> Let me just say that. Um, but just know I'm working super hard. Um, I stay up super late pretty much every night. Um, but I'm also trying to balance, you know, like the kids at home for the summer and still like hanging out with my hubby and all that stuff. And I have a pretty good balance going. So I'm really grateful for that, but I'm the most grateful for you guys. I love making your customs and I promise it's worth, worth the wait. So I have about 300 envelopes that I'm going to work on later today. I won't get them finished today, but I should get them finished by tomorrow night and get them in the mail Monday morning. So, um, and then after that, I'll be down to only 60 orders. It, you know, if nothing else comes in between now and then, but that's kind of where I'm at. I'm working through them in order of when they came in. And just to give you guys an idea, I probably had the first 500 envelopes come in in the first eight minutes of my restock. So if you're like, well, I ordered at 10, 12 in the morning, 12 minutes into the launch, well, there's still 600 envelopes before you. So just know, I promise I'm working on them in order for the most part, for the most part. Um, and it's going to be totally worth it. I promise. And I've like done some new things with my packaging and it's going to be really fun for you to open. And I just wanted to say thank you and give you an update on where we are at with that. So, um, date night, I don't think I stuffed this because it's getting 25. Well, I don't remember if I grabbed a 20. I don't think I did. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 85. If I did already grab a 20, don't comment it yet because I will figure it out. Um, organizing $10. So yeah, 20, 40, 51. Counting is like the best part of a cash stuffing video in my opinion. Like that's what I love <laughs> watching other people and getting to know them obviously. Seasonal lawn care is getting a 50. So now it has 150, 200, 20, 40, 60. So 260 in seasonal lawn care. Memberships is going to be getting a 10. So now it has 100, 200, 250, 260, 270, 275. Oh, one other thing that I'm adding to the shop, just, I mean, kind of nonchalantly, because it's really not that big of a deal, but I've been getting a lot of requests for $2,000 placeholders. And so I did add those. I did, um, I am adding those to our, to the uh, shop. Ugh, this five is so bad. Yuck, this will be easier. So 20, 30, 35 in tax prep. So yeah, um, the $2,000 placeholders will be available because I can totally see the value in that. Oh wait, wedding ring is getting 10. So now in wedding ring, we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 280, 80, 290, 295 in wedding ring. Okay, 10th anniversary is getting a 50. So now I gotta tell you about this because we booked our trip. 500, 600, 657, 758, 850. $850 in 10th anniversary. And I might actually pull this because like I said, we booked our trip and it's not where we originally were gonna go. We'd actually decided to go to Colorado. Um, it's been a long time since I've been to Colorado and I just wanna go and like drink coffee and maybe some White Claw but drink coffee and just like sit in silence and look at the mountains with, with Chris there, obviously. I mean, he can come too, I guess. 50, 100, 20, 30, 35, $135 in travel. So um, we got an Airbnb. It is so cute, so cute, beautiful views. Um, just, I'm so excited for it. So we're gonna drive out there. It's about a 19 hour drive, but I, I mean, just to be able to spend that time with him 
just escape like the the noise for a while it's going to be so fun and so worth it so valentine's day is getting a five so now it has 55 so that'll be in october and we'll get back the day before my birthday so our my birthday and our anniversary are three days apart easter is getting a five so now it has 20 30 35 40. But yeah, so I think it'll be like a Thursday through Sunday type thing. And we just gotta figure out who's gonna watch the kids. Fourth of July is getting a 20. So now we have 100, 200, 220, 230. By the end of this month, we'll be set up for all of our fireworks that we're gonna do, plus whatever else. Halloween is getting $10. So now we have 50, 100, 10, and 20. So $120 in Halloween. Thanksgiving is getting a five. So now it has 55. So I just did my cash condensing. So it feels really nice to have some of these bigger bills in here. Black Friday, as always, is getting a 10. So now we have 100, 200, 20, 40, and 50. So 250 for Black Friday. I'm gonna stop stuffing this when it hits 500. So, okay, so Christmas is getting its right usual 50. So we have $1,000 in the bank in the savings and then 100, 150, 200. So $1,200 total for Christmas. New Year's Eve is not getting stuffed. Birthday parties is getting 25. One hundred, one fifty, two hundred, twenty, forty, forty-five, fifty. So two hundred and fifty. Somebody asked me. I don't remember where it was. Ugh, all the comments blur together. It was here, Instagram or TikTok. I don't remember. But why do I put the bigger bills in front? Um, just because it's easier for me to count, starting with the bigger bills. So in case anyone else is ever wondering that. One hundred, two hundred, two fifty-three, three fifty-four, four fifty, four sixty, four sixty-five. We're almost ready for a five hundred-dollar placeholder and back to school. And I think, I think I'd be comfortable with $800 in here, which is probably way too much, but I just don't know exactly what to expect. So once we get hit that, I might stop stuffing it if that's before the school year starts. Spring is getting $5. And so now we've got 10 in here. Summer is getting a 20. Oops. And we left a 20 in there. So now we have 60 in summer. And this is just for water balloons, summer activities, primarily for the kids. You know, fall would be for like going to a uh, pumpkin patch or, you know, whatever. Winter is going to get five as well. Okay, you guys, so my seasonal decor envelope is empty because me and my sister went to TJ Maxx to get my other sister a gift. Like we like to go to TJ Maxx, pick out a cute basket and then fill it with all sorts of cute stuff. That's how we gift things to each other. So seasonal decor is getting 10, but when we were there, I found these really pretty flower pots. They're not pots, they're like, they're kind of like woven. I'm, I'm really like, I've got a boho, my husband just fell against a wall somewhere. He hates it when I talk about boho chic, but honestly, that's like kind of my style. So um, a lot of like boho, like our patio stuff is like white and wicker and all of that. So I found these really cute. They're probably, I can't show you tall wise, but like this tall and they're kind of like woven and beautiful and they're four outdoor plants. So I'm gonna get some flowers to put in there and it's gonna be super pretty. So I considered, I could probably pull out of seasonal lawn care, but I also feel like that's seasonal decor. So it's fine, but that's why that's empty. So now we have to restart over for Christmas decor, which I think is probably fine. So let's stuff this savings challenge here, the $1 savings challenge. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine dollars is what we're gonna be adding to this. Hopefully I can get this shut. Um, and then if you wanna see me count how much I have in my savings challenge, just bop on over to TikTok or Instagram cause that's where I do that. So the $5 savings challenge, we're gonna be able to add one five. 
Oh my God, my husband's home. <gasps> so I don't know if you can hear his truck. I gotta go out there and tell him to just keep the kids outside for a minute. <laughs> gonna be right back okay we're all good he's gonna keep him outside for a little longer so no tens to add this week but we do have a 20 whoops that was already open so we'll add this and these savings challenges these are my new version like the reusable kind you just use like a sharpie marker on there or you can get a digital download too if you want to print it off on your own paper but like the thousand dollar one or the $20 savings challenge, you save $1,040 at the end. And I'm gonna do this for the entire year because this is all, this is just rollover money from my wallet. And then like the $10 savings challenge, you save 520, 260 with the, did I say five or 10? $10 savings challenge, you save 520. The $5 savings challenge, you save 260. There's a child coming in the house. Okay, last things, last thing. I thought I planned ahead this time and I grabbed the envelopes that I'm stuffing for the 100 envelope challenge. This one is from Lux Designs. Um, I do not make these because they are so time consuming. So um, shout out to Rachel at Lux Designs because this is beautiful. Highly recommend, I'll link her shop in the description. And then also kind of random, but this, Cash tray is from Funs and Fun, and she is on Etsy, and they are amazing. I actually just ordered two more. So if this one, I have a sage green one, and then I just ordered the black and the slate gray. So I have a little bit of an obsession, but it's fine. Okay, so let's just get started. So for 29, I round it up, and we're going to do 30. And I am using this challenge to pay off our student loans since currently we're not having to pay, but I think it resumes in September. I thought October, but it's September. So we got to get moving on this. But since we're not paying them, I thought it would be fun to like get ahead. 13, we're going to round up to 15. I thought it would be fun to get ahead and save up, up as much as we can so that by the time those payments resume, we... Um, or we, like we've got some of our total knocked out. If I don't make it fun, I won't do it and I will burn out. I know I say that in every video, but just in case there's new peeps, which I'm sure there are, by the way, welcome you guys. I'm so bad at that. I love having you here. We have, we have a really, really fun group of people. Like I love this community that we're building over here and we cheer each other on. So if you're new in the comments, put your goal that you're working towards right now we want to cheer you on. Now I feel like I messed up somewhere because I should have another 50. Hmm, that's really weird. I should have another 50. And I did it right on my on my sheet here. Oh well. We maybe just won't stuff this one. Which is okay. Because This is like super, super messed up. Cause I did 75. So this is gonna be for 75. I'm like wondering if I have like random cash laying around somewhere that I forgot to put in there because I have 15 left over. That is so weird. That is super weird. I'm going to see if I have an envelope I can stuff these in. Okay, so I have number 15. So we're just going to stuff this into 15 and I'm not going to get my panties in a bunch about it because I got too much to do today and <laughs> it is what it is. So we'll just stuff number 15 instead and put these back to stuff, I don't know, maybe next week or another time whenever it fits. I normally stuff about $200 in this challenge, so, so I'm just going to put these. I don't keep them in order. I'm excited for this unstuffing because I've been rounding up, so just to see like how much I save up in that amount of time. But 
I have kids trying to break into the house, so I'm going to hop off, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this video. I hope you had fun and I will see you in my next video.